Well, for more on this, we're now joined by Jules Boykoff. He's the author of Power Games. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on Territory World. Um, what is the point of granting a Los Angeles the Olympic Games for the third time and Paris for the second time when so many big cities around the world have never gotten a chance even once? Well, it's because fewer and fewer cities around the world are actually game to host the Olympic Games. And there's a real shortage of cities who are keen. And so the International Olympic Committee took an exceptional measure and decided to award both the 2024 and 2028 Olympics at the same time. This hasn't been done since 1921, when coincidentally Paris was awarded the 24 games, 1924, and uh, Amsterdam was given 1928. So it's a short term fix for deeper problems that the Olympics are experiencing in the modern era. Okay, now it was a, um, a big challenge for the IOC and for the city of Rio to stage uh, the last summer games in 2016, given the complicated political situation in Brazil at the time. Uh, any guarantees uh, this time to be avoided in the future? You're absolutely right. It was a real push in Rio. I lived in Rio de Janeiro from August through December 2015, so I saw from my own two eyes the buildup to the Olympics there and all the attendant social problems. I mean, in Rio, 77,000 people were displaced. They had real budget woes down to the very end of the preparations for the Olympics. And you also saw the militarization of the public. You could just see it seeping into the streets. And so, you know, that is something that all Olympic cities now want to avoid. I think the money aspect has gotten a lot more attention with Los Angeles and Paris because both cities have put forth scaled back bids. Los Angeles's bid, for example, is only supposed to be about $5.3 billion in 2016 dollars. And so that's a, a real response to some of the huge escalations in costs we've seen in recent Olympic Games. All right, Jules Boykoff joining us um, from the U.S. Thank you very much for the update.